Okay, my name's Tom. This is Matthew. His name we call him Billy. And uh, this is Dylan taking the video here. We're going to do a video of an installation of a chair chair lift in this fellow's house. He's bought this thing. It's a pretty nice unit. The name of the unit is Leave On. And there's a lot of different names of the of units that we've installed: XL, Satia, uh, Harmar. But this is the, this is the style we're going to do today, and it's a Leave On. When you do one of these things, you need to check out the installation instructions very well. All the details, all the numbers make a big difference in where it goes, how it fits in the stair, how everything works. So you got to read it over, and then you can check out what kind of tools you need. The tools you're going to need is like a battery cordless drill. That usually works pretty good on this unit. A case of tools, you know, half-inch wrenches, sockets, and stuff. A cut-off saw that you can cut the rack off with. You need a miter box because you're going to have to cut the track. The track's a pretty uh, extruded piece of aluminum that goes with this thing. And that's the major part of it, other than the chassis. Uh, anything else? No. Nope. It's a it's I mean, a major operation, and like cutting the track is a pretty big deal. Um, and the, the details and the numbers away from the uh, walls and away from the floors and stuff makes a big difference because it, it'll affect how the chair works on the stairway. If, if you, if you uh, continue to watch the video, you'll see what he's talking about. Okay. I think it covers everything out here. We're going to show you how the track goes okay, together. Okay, how the track goes together. You get a little square here, the tube that lines it up, and then it's pretty pretty decent fit to it. Might want to hit it on the hammer once or twice. Take a rubber mallet. Hang it on in, make sure she goes together. Okay, and then roll it over. Then we have this piece of steel right here that'll splice it together. You gotta go from one end to the other to slide it up in here. This one here takes a half inch wrench. The truck went by again. Busy highway behind us. So we're gonna tighten one side. Real tight. It'll hold just about whatever you want to put on it. Pretty good bolts. Nice piece of steel. All right, now we're going to line up this one and tighten it up. If you don't line this up right, there'll be a bump in the chair when it rolls up the track. You got to do it real, real good. But the plastic pieces in there, you can hold it nice. Now what we need to do is to go inside and measure everything out. Okay. Now what we need to figure out here is five things. Number one, we need to figure out if we got a straight shot to come in the door here. You know, a lot of times we got to take the track apart and get it in, but this is going to be a straight shot. Right on in, no problem. We got to find out where the power is at. In this case, it's down the bottom. Corner. Next thing you got to look at is the stair surface. A lot of times we get concrete, carpet, whatever. This is just raw wood here, raw pine. It ought to go right in there real well. Uh, another thing we need to look at is any obstructions on the back. Sometimes people have a handrail back here. As you can see, we got pictures. We don't want any of them knocked off the wall as the chair goes up here. So it looks pretty clean here. We'll be measuring off of this because it looks like the furthest thing out. And then we need to figure out the length of the stairway. And uh, we'll show you how that works now. This stairway, we got to raise the track up off the, the nose of the tread, two and three quarters of an inch, and then measure. You got your block still there? No, it's outside. Well, let me show you how that works. He's got his block down there. He holds the tape a half inch off the floor, and I measure right to this nose tree. And I got 172 and a half. Right? So this chair here, you got to add 10 inches. So the length of this track is going to be 182 and a half. All right, what we got to do is we got to run this cord all the way up through the, the tube here, the, the, the railing. And the easiest way we found out is to get a piece of measuring tape and take this cord to it. So, 
Yeah, this is for the charger because it's the, the chair is battery operated. goes on here and the, when the chair comes up to the top it's got two contacts that sit on here and it keeps the battery charged and inside underneath of here you got two little two little contacts The wire's got to go in there like that so it doesn't come out. Yeah, there's no tugging on it. This goes on the back of this little spacer. It's actually kind of like a little shield. Right, that's what it looks like. All right, not sure if you can see this, but this gear runs in this thing, and it comes in a couple different pieces. There you go. And we had to slide them in. Got to put the pin in so it doesn't come back out. This is the charger we're snapped in here, and it's snapped in right this little hole right here. And it's already got a nut on it. You just turn it and tighten it. It's tight. Now we can put this on. Well, you need to get the one to put the right in. This is it's the that piece end. up there laying on the ground. This or laying on the tailgate. It's on the tailgate. Side of that pin, and then it'll go right over. There's a little bit laying up there by the screws. And once we finish it up, we gotta tighten that bolt up, that screw up, and it's tight. And this is the bottom of it, so when the bottom goes in, it's done. You just gotta deal with finishing up the top. shot into the stairway. Each one of these things has a foot on it. And to put it on, you got this piece here, it's rounded. This piece down here isn't. So you gotta slide, you gotta sit up underneath of here and rotate it while it's under while it's engaged into a track. It sits on there like so. Alright, when this track is set. You gotta have two and a half inches off the furthest part, which was one of these steps is the baseboard. So once it's two and a half inches, you can put the lag screws in. Alright, once you get this chair up here and get the rail and the track installed, you gotta slide this chair over the top of the rail. And it rides on these wheels here. And there's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. The main thing you want to do is protect these switches right here. This is what stops it. You don't want to damage them going down. This is the gear that drives the thing. And it's pretty heavy, so. Do 
It's too short. We've got to cut a piece of fit in here. Go on in there. Yep. It looks like 53 and 5 eighths. Right here. Good there? Yep. We'll need 53 and 5 eighths more of that. See it works. What I didn't show was putting this end cap on. You know, like it's only held in, it slides over the end. It's only held in with one screw. The charger's plugged in around the corner, like I showed earlier. Yeah. 